Now to that special election to replace George Santos. Democrat Tom Suozzi's victory narrowed an already razor-thin majority for House Republicans. There are now 219 Republicans and 213 Democrats. Swazi's victory to represent the 3rd Congressional District could become a blueprint for Democrats in November. CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer is here to explain. Marsha? Well, Dana and Dick, Tom Swazi's election is reverberating around the country as House Democrats craft a strategy to try and regain control of Congress. And here's how you know it's taking on far more significance. The so-called poobas of power in Washington are talking about it, with the Republicans doing their best to stomp on it. But the result uh, last night is, is not something, in my view, that Democrats should celebrate too much. House Speaker Mike Johnson trying to stick his thumb on the scale of Democratic delight that they were able to flip the seat once held by Republican George Santos. He didn't succeed. It's a great day for the country, for the people of New York's 3rd Congressional District. One less vote for MAGA extreme Republicans. The Swazi campaign is indicative of the fact that Democrats are in good shape and are going to do quite well in 2024. <laughs> Democrats are over the moon that Tom Swasey won his old seat back in a district that George Santos won in 2022 by eight points. They see it as a bellwether election with a playbook they hope to adopt to flip enough seats to take back control of the House, including seats on Long Island and the Hudson Valley they lost as a red wave swept the state. He did something that's actually very important in campaigns such as this with, uh, I think, pressure to nationalize the race. He focused hyper locally. But that's not the only takeaway from the high profile race with Republican Mazi Phillip. Swazi ran as an unabashed moderate in a party that has increasingly moved to the left. Experts say if Democrats want to take back the House, they have to find centrist candidates, especially in suburban and rural districts, to take on their Republican opponents. You should, you know, think about fielding mo uh, moderate candidates. You know, progressives in the party are probably not going to like that. But if you want Democrats to win, they've got to represent in the districts that, uh, that, that, that they come from. It was arguably a, a, a bellwether you know, for Democrats all around the country, uh, particularly in the swing suburban areas that tend to decide national elections. Uh, uh, and, and the lessons here were basically, if you want to win in moderate areas, you run moderate candidates. But after his big win yesterday, Tom Swasey has to do it again in the fall, and he may not have the same district lines. Tomorrow, the State Redistricting Commission is scheduled to unveil a proposal to redraw all 26 congressional districts in the state. The plan will have to be approved by the legislature, which has the option to redraw its own lines, which, as you know, will cause more court suits and mm -hmm. we'll be back. They're tomorrow. always moving the lines. <laughs> moving the lines. <laughs> Marcia, okay, thanks. Thanks, Marcia. We'll stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage of the campaign. Uh, ahead of November's election. And if you prepare to cast your vote, we'll bring you the latest from candidates and races on the air and streaming on CBS News New York.